Now, Emeka has gone through some sort of kind of significant change over the last, I'd say, three or four years. Has evolved as a business um, significantly, mainly due to the expansion, exponential growth that we've had. Emeka are a multidisciplined engineering services provider, okay, and a multi-capable engineering services provider. So, as a company, we can we can design things for you, right? We want to design and build that thing for you. You know, whether it's electrical, mechanical, fire systems, or telecommunications, that's what we do. Our focus is in rail, and that's you know we want to focus around rail and infrastructure because that's where we feel, um, I guess, our skills lie, our experience lie, our expertise, and uh, more importantly, our history. Has been very rail, rail dominated. It's very regulatory. We are very much focused around compliance and following regulations, and we're very good for that. So that's, that's Emico as a whole. One of our greatest challenges is that um, our, the majority of our users are remote. Now we, we've got a, a nice server infrastructure that sits here. They have to have access to the information that's stored on those servers 24-7, 365. And when they're in, in a customer site in a tunnel at the back of a station, um, it can be quite a challenge actually getting access to that information, but we find ways of doing that. We had some problems with our um, uh, with our back end of our service. We were having a lot of bottlenecks. We were running pretty much anything, and it was clearly bottleneck and we were running backups. Um, I was on the phone from Nathan at the time, and I said, I've got a problem with with this and um, I said I just can't bottleneck and it was it was literally kind of backwards and forwards chat and I was saying I've done this this and this and whilst on the phone he was picking up to someone else saying hold on let me see if I've got a person available to to speak to one of the specialists and um, he actually came down with a specialist who then walked us through some problems and basically cleared off an issue what I'll get from Nathan is an email that says you, this is being shipped on this day, and received on this day. He'll call up and say, "Have you received it?" I said, "Yes." So finally, said, "When are you installing it?" He'll keep involved throughout the whole process, so it's not just a box tick going. Absolutely, yes, no problem at all. He's saying, "Right, I'm actually interested because the more interested he is in our in our business as well as our infrastructure, um, the better he can serve us because he might say, "Do you know what is? What you've got you've got an issue with storage. Have you thought about using this technology that's just come up?" And we'll say, no, we haven't, even we haven't even discovered it. We might have not a budget for it. And then Nathan will say, well, here's a stopgap that will get you from A to B. Um, and it's not, it's not a sales relationship as much. I'm fairly certain that uh, his bosses wouldn't like him saying that. But um, it is the, it is, it's the, it's the enhanced fulfillment of, of making sure that not only do we have the parts that we need, but making sure that the support is there and the understanding of emerging technologies and things, that things that we may have looked at, um, but not really been fully aware of the implications for us.